Hey guys, woke up this morning and I was like, Phew. the sun is getting me like a vampire. I was like, no. And then I was like, no work. Mm -mm. Called up, didn't do it. Yeah, that's how you get out of that. You use your call-ins. So I have quite a few Dollar Tree movies for you guys. Lots. Well, not lots, but I have footage and we're going to go to the footage we got the two bags here and two different locations and then we're also going to talk about releases and stuff and some a few other things like i rented a movie from amazon and you guys should check this one out too if you're a fan of like texas chainsaw massacre um two part two i mean and house house and corpses and like kind of mixed in with like a david lynch feel like real weird so you gotta like that and then you gotta like something real strange with it just weird stuff if you're not into that then you probably won't like it so yeah um we'll talk about that movie after so going to the first dollar tree and it was real weird how this whole stack that i picked up actually i literally just picked it up and it was like that at this dollar tree so i'm thinking the guy had like an emergency or he was probably stacking up he's like yeah i'm gonna get these and then he probably got a call or something, like his wife or whatever. He's like, oh, I gotta go. Or something, I don't know. But I'll show that to you right now. That footage. And then after that footage, we're gonna go right to the next one. So, stay tuned. Dollar Tree time. I decided to get a coffee. I was kind of like, it's early and I got to do this. I need two cups of this every day. Otherwise, I can't function. Man, my hair's like getting long. All right. First, uh, first one here. The main reason why I got this is the yellow case. I could care less about anything else with this movie I, I don't care i ripped this slip cover I, I don't i don't care at all no but i didn't rip it i kind of ripped it but eh. this yellow case man that's where it's at and then you take this old picture frame that's got some stuff and then you cut it open yeah i need to bring my utility knife down here but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do it I know, wasn't it weird how this stuff was just kind of stacked like that? I don't know. Strange to me, too. Like I said, somebody had the same exact taste as me. And then the rest of it was, like, the Fire logo ones. And you guys saw me in, saw that in the last video, too, how Fire logo ones were just kind of like... Yeah. I don't really like that it's an eco-friendly case, but I'll put up with it. I haven't watched this one. I probably won't. This is probably a probably gonna go right to this replay with it and sell it. Get some credit, yo. This one I will check out. You guys can actually have this code because yeah, there's nothing I'm gonna do with movie spree. It's, come on, I'm not. Yeah, go ahead. 
I'm not gonna do it. So just pause it right there because I'm not gonna hold this forever. And this one, I was impressed because I was like, oh, time machine, that's pretty good. It's like a Stargate feel kind of thing. Yeah, I did that quick. Steven Dorff. Pretty good cast here. Now, I already have the DVD, and I'll probably just throw it in here with this one. And I actually picked up more of these. I'm gonna just bring those to this replay and get some more credit so I can get like some cool stuff because they might have like, you know, some arrow or something. I already have those. You guys have seen this before. I've got it multiple different times. Another disc replay. And if they don't take it, then I'll keep it. But I don't think I actually have one that I haven't been taking there. I mean, three movies, especially a midnight movie. Actually, it was pretty, it was pretty good. I heard this was really good. So I, I will check that out. Um, Terror Trap. I, I might like that too. I love traveling. I'm all over the place. I, I do like ghost hunting and random stuff all over the United States. I love it. So I'm always like at weird places. And uh, it's fun. All right. Next, next deck here. Bad new spares. I'm not into sports. I hate it actually. I, I do not like it at all. Um, but since Billy Bob Thornton's in it, I'll check that out. And yeah, it's like half the conversations with work with people. They're just like trying to tell me scores and stuff, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Have an extra. Open that up too. Get that one later since it don't matter. I'm not sure if I already got this one. This is actually a. <laughs> you probably hate it. It's pretty low budget. I rented this at Redbox, I think, one time, and then I just kind of. I think I already own it. Now I know for a fact I have it. I might have double bought that. I don't know. I think you guys know this. Already had it. I already had it. Another one. This one's got shakiness to it. And then more dollar, uh, what do you call it, uh, disc replay time. All right, now we're going to go to the new releases and then we're going to talk about that movie I watched on Amazon. Yeah, so tomorrow's releases, I know it's not a Tuesday video, but let's go to it. As you can see there, you know, you had uh, the notable things is the, the two Evil Eyes 4K, the Cat of Nine Tails 4K, the Conjuring 3 4K. If you guys haven't seen that yet, definitely check that out and tell me what you think of it. I enjoyed it. A lot of people were like bashing it like real bad and whatnot. I like ghost stuff, so what can I say? Yeah, and this is like my little, I wrote on here so I could put, you know what I was going to say. That's what, that's what that is. Huh. Yeah. And then, um, because I forgot about something, it's just too many releases. Yeah, lots of horror in there, obviously. Um, and it's weird too, the One Dark Knight. I thought that was already released on Blu-ray, but it's weird. I, I think I saw it like years ago. Maybe it was... I don't know, I feel like it already was. Maybe it's like a special edition or something now. I don't know. So yeah. We're gonna go to the movie that I was talking to you about. So yeah, that is Skin Deep. Severn released it for like 30 bucks. And I thought about pulling the trigger. It was like 30 bucks. People are telling me this is real crazy and stuff. Um, I was like, eh, I'll pay the buck. See what it's like on Amazon. Prime, and you can go on Vudu and pay four bucks, as you can see. I'm going to show you here right now.
you make your decision what you want to do, but if you like it, let me know. I enjoyed it. It's one of those movies that is just all over, and it's got that that funness to it. it. Like, there's just a lot of movies that I don't feel like successfully do that, and it's just so weird and kind of cheesy at the same time. The thing is with a lot of newer horror, too, that I've noticed, it, it's just like they try to do that, but it just doesn't happen. So I gotta go back and watch a lot of older stuff, because, like... I don't know, just a lot of newer stuff I'm not a huge fan of. Um, it's weird, but I'm just not a big fan of a lot of stuff that's newer. So, besides Conjuring 3. So, see you guys next time. Subscribe, like. Yeah, and you can check out my other videos. There's, if you like this, there's check out the old stuff. Lots of updates like this. So, yeah. Enjoy. There's a lot on there for you to check out.